So next we're going to look at some of the new visualization tools inside of IntelliCAD 7.2. And the first one is support for proxy entities. In this drawing, if we zoom in, you're going to see it looks like a typical topographic survey. You'll see there's some shots and there's some contour lines. Well, one thing that's important about this particular drawing is if you had opened it inside Microsurvey CAD 2010 or any of our earlier products, these contour lines and points would not be visible. And that's because they were created with Civil 3D and these are AECC objects. And so if I click on this point here, you'll see it's a database point. If I click on this contour, you'll see it's a Civil 3D created contour. So these items, you can uh, now see them. You can control their visibility. They show up in the layer manager. You can turn them on and off. And if you explode them, you can uh, now snap to them or use them. So if I was to explode, you know, let's say this point here, I can now start a line and snap to it. And you'll see these other ones, I can't do anything with them because I haven't exploded them. So that's an important new feature. Next one we're going to look at is Mr. Sid support. I'm just going to switch to a drawing I created here. It's blank, uh, doesn't have a raster in it. But if we insert images, I've got a Mr. Sid file here. So when we open that, you're going to see Sid files are now supported. I can also use the world file that accompanies that file. Just need to come down here and set it to all files and pick your world file and then just press OK and there's our Mr. Sid file. All right. Next thing we're going to look at is a survey of a stockpile and you're going to see we've got a tin model that's been created here. New option is called uh, visual styles. So here if you set it to realistic, it basically just renders your, your surface model. And then you can use the new 3D orbit. And this is going to be similar to what you've been using inside of um, AutoCAD for a long time. And sometimes you need to just set the uh, rotation. I'm just going to snap to a point on here. And you're going to see it's actually um, it's quite nice. In the uh, our previous versions, we had our own uh, render engine for rendering objects, but now you can do that directly inside your your CAD window, and uh, this works quite well. And those are some of the new visualization tools.